I really am starting to enjoy the whole kick thing. I, it's like a, like a guilty watch for me. I really, it's like a- I can't understand your accent. I feel bad watching it. I feel bad making videos about it. Just kidding. These people fucking suck. I don't feel bad at all. Oh my God, nice. Oh, gee, man. Yo, wait, can, can I have one? You can have one. 100? Yeah, if you bark and little doggy. Come on, fetch it, fetch the hug. <laughs> I love making fun of them. Like I've said before, it's like having a punching bag. You can just, you can be mean to these people and make fun of them from top to bottom. I'm here to expose all you fraudulent fucks. Damn. Literally. Yo. I'm here. I'm him. Himothy. Yo. Himothy. <laughs> Daddy. I created all y'all. You watched me growing up. Even the way they look, which is not allowed on the internet. Now, it's not, you can't be a respectable person and make fun of the way someone looks. But I can say that Jack Doherty looks like a giant toddler or like a medium sized, a slightly above average toddler. And everyone will agree. Or will you all finally decide to extensively defend him because he is a protected class of online content creator now? I saw these guys right here recently and I was like, all right, this is what's becoming of this platform. And there, Jack Doherty is, he's propagating. He is there's a new zygote on on the fucking scene. Jack has undergone mitosis, and this is the result. He also stole some lady's food as well and got yelled at. Taking that bitch food. Hello. Go f yourself. Does that child have parents? Does that, does, does that, does Jack Doherty have parents? Actually, yes, Jack Doherty has made a lot of videos with his parents. His parents appeared in such classics as ignoring my mom for 24 hours, saying no to my mom for 24 hours, and my dad says yes to everything for 24 hours. Jack is quite hated though, and we keep going down the rabbit hole. Every time I see something new, I'm like, what? How does it get worse? How did I miss this? And how does it get worse? Basically, there's this rumor saying that I sign Minors to OnlyFans, get them drunk on yachts, make them sign contracts, whatever. We've seen him beat people up. We've seen him kiss the island boys. You look like I'll you want to- I'll jit you up, little baby boy face. It sounds like that was sexual. You want it to be sexual. We've seen him just be an absolute goober piece of shit consistently. One more act like that, you're gonna be arrested. Airport security's coming down. You park that thing over there. I'm, done. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. None of that shit. My bad, I'm sorry. You are on a federal property. My this is an active ramp. Sorry. This is not a playground. He's kind of like a miniature version of Andrew Tate. And this is something that I've been thinking about for a while now. And it's really interesting to me. Also, remember that guy that uh, we talked about last week, Matt? And exposing this guy that works for him, Jack unintentionally sort of exposed himself as well. And today we'll be breaking down the heated exchanges that have been popping up on Twitter. It is unbelievable the one that 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 was like trying to cancel him his old editor and they're trying to like cancel each other and they're saying they're just alleging shit with each other i talked to him for like an hour and uh i recorded it but the audio from discord just didn't it just fucked up what is the biggest thing that drac has accused you of that you just would not you just is com you are completely it's just not even true at all like what, what's what's the number like give me a top three things because there's a lot I learned that Jack really is a piece of shit and that this type of content does nothing but hurt people's brains. I also learned exactly how much money Jack Doherty actually has. And I don't wanna get sued, so I'm not gonna say how much money he actually has or how exactly he's gotten his money, but I'm going to speculate and allude to some things that are public information already because I don't wanna get in trouble, but it's crazy. Read, read the room. Dude, go down the rabbit hole. This guy is a bad guy. He's like 20 years old and he's he's as bad as, he's, he's Andrew Tate levels of weird. For some time now, Jack has been accused of grooming underage girls and then signing them to an OnlyFans contract when they turn 18, hence the group of girls he's always with. You've seen how much money this fucking kid has. Like he's got 300, $400,000 cars all around him. How old are you? 19. How long have you been on YouTube for? Seven years. That's your Lamborghini? Yeah. That's your McLaren? 
Yeah. This is your house? Yeah. Good fucking shit, dog. His YouTube channel doesn't make that much money. I mean, it just objectively, it does not. He probably makes like two grand per long video, these 25 minute videos around there, maybe less, maybe more. Depends. It really just depends on, on what he's saying in the videos. He's a piece of shit, so he's probably saying a bunch of messed up things, and I don't assume that they have ads or whatever. Shorts, you don't make that much money on shorts, but he does get quite a few views from shorts themselves. Yeah, so he gets five to 10 million views a day, it seems like, mostly from shorts. Like, genuinely, that's from shorts. Social Blade is inaccurate as fuck when it comes to earnings and all this stuff. Shorts make very little money. Some random websites are saying it's between four and seven cents. That's about what it is for me on my channel as well. So the amount of money from RPM for that would be 186 million views a month. That's 186,000 RPMs. Thousand. A thousand goes into 186 million, uh, 186,000 times. Multiply that by 0. .0. Say a high end, seven cents. That's $13,000. So, Clearly, money's being made elsewhere. And we always hear Andrew Tate say he's a billionaire, or whatever. Where's his money? Where was his money made before all the shit that's going on now? But let's see. Jack Doherty has been accused of a lot of things. And one of those things is building a cam girl empire and becoming a glorified pimp at the age of 20 years old, which is very impressive, hard to do. I've tried it. It's really tough. We have some pretty cool information and a, a very special look into this from some tweets by a person named Natalie Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah, I know squat, right? What? So what? If you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here, man. I do have clothes on. Natalie has beef with Jack. She claimed that Jack Doherty grooms women into becoming OnlyFans models and then takes all their revenue. But he obviously doesn't claim that it was together. Let's just say around November. You told me everything that you were f***ing hanging out with her. I have f***ing pictures and videos of you show guys f***ing cuddling. I bet you won't show up. And then she would tell me that you would Uber her home when I was about to come over. Wow. Oh, shit. Jack's ex-girlfriend knows about him grooming girls. Oh. This girl she is talking about is the 17-year-old he met with intentions of using her to start an OF because she had a fresh cat emoji and it would attract older men. Even worse, he took 100% of her revenue and gives her $1,000. That is so unbelievable so unbelievable that it may potentially have a merit of truth a nugget a kernel to it i'm not sure though i'm not an expert i'm not a 17 year old girl i'm none of this stuff natalie basically claimed that he would find girls when they were 17 years old and get them to sign in an OnlyFans contract with him he would be their manager their pimp quite literally when they turned 18 and then take all their money and pay them a salary. Natalie Reynolds was literally making tweet after tweet calling out Jack for the shitty things he's done, not just to her, but to the girls he's currently with. She would say things like, I was the first person involved years ago and know how this dirty operation works, glad to be gone, and oh, by the way, the groomy thing ain't a joke, lol. This girl was 17 and Jack waited months for her birthday to get her drunk and sign a contract on a yacht. You know, like an MCN, but with OnlyFans and even less work than an MCN. You think MCNs are evil on YouTube, the whole machinima thing? This shit is fucked up. This is a very heavy allegation, by the way, but she goes on, doubles down, triples down. She despises Jack, and I, I don't blame her. I mean, a lot of people, he's probably one of the least liked human beings I've, I've ever seen that makes content consistently and still has like a modicum of relevancy. All these Neon fans don't actually know anything how this guy's thing these people are. It's been years around Jack and Sam and experienced it firsthand. Liars, manipulators, and evil people with bad intentions. I don't know either. I, I think that's Sam Frank, maybe. I don't really know, dude. And they're just not great people. I don't, I don't really know about her, actually. Another tweet makes it look even worse. She said, Jack meeting 17 year olds and waiting for them to turn 18, then getting them drunk on yacht and signing a contract is wild. <laughs> That's fuck. That is crazy to tweet at 8.41 a.m. on a, a cold November morning. That is a substantial accusation because I think, I think, I don't know, but that seems illegal. Kick is no stranger to crime, by the way. There's quite a few criminals. But by, by the way, if they want to send me a contract, I will sign it as long as it's good money, man. I, I've, I've, you know, my videos get pretty good views now. They get pretty good views. And I will talk shit about all these people on kick if I'm allowed to, of course. And I will bite the hand that feeds, but that's just what I do. Luckily though, if the Natalie Reynolds tweet is to be believed, if that is an actual true situation, you cannot legally sign a, con a contract is not legally valid if you sign it while drunk. So 
if that's true, that's not going to work out for Jackie Boy. They could just sue him and get out of that. For example, Britney Spears married someone while drunk, and she was able to nullify her marriage because she was drunk and bored. <laughs> Wow. But Jack would never fall for that. He would never let someone be able to nullify a contract, of course. I'm sure he has lawyers, whatever. And I, I'm someone who likes to sign things without looking at them, without digging very deep. All right, guys, remember the candy scam? That's all me, baby girl. So someone who worked for me in that business, who no longer works with me now, I found out stole an insane amount of money, like so much that this whole thing might just go under. Like I've had to max out all my credit cards bad. How, how much money are we talking? It's embarrassing to say because it seems stupid, but over three quarters of a million dollars. Over. Hopefully these girls aren't doing that, and I don't think that Jack is talking to people who, who, who are just signing things without looking. I think there's a bit more to this. Natalie has doubled down multiple times, though. Over a long period of time, this mostly happened late last year. Here's another tweet. She said, All these women living in Jack Doherty house are brainless and lost in life. Jack is a narcissist, and all the girl know they're being scammed but stick around for lavish lifestyle and are put on salaries, and Jack takes 100% of the revenue. I was the first person involved years ago and know everything how this dirty operation works. Glad to be gone. There's levels to this. They are absolutely being manipulated and scammed, like that's for sure. Because of the whole lavish lifestyle thing, they're young people. They are voluntarily doing it, allegedly, if they're drunk and they're being coerced. That's not voluntary if there's, you know, some kind of lover boy method. You deploy the lover boy method where you would make women fall in love with you. You would then persuade them to do uh, webcam, webcam stuff, right? TikTok. It depends on, upon how manipulative the perpetrating party is. How manipulative is Jack? If he is, it's illegal. But if not, they're voluntarily doing their own thing. You can sign a bad contract that's essentially a scam and it not be illegal. You can still do that if you're stupid and you want to do that and you knowingly do that. You can say, hey, for convenience, I will give you all of my revenue. You pay me a little bit and let me live near you. And I'll do all, so that, that's a possibility, right? That is a possibility, a reasonable possibility, but is that the case? According to Natalie, it's not. In an interview with The Asher Show, who also interviewed Matthew, the guy that I interviewed, but I lost all of my, uh, my my audio i have the footage because yeah, i would not want to be involved in that in any fucking way yeah dude yeah i i seriously think you should i i really think that's the only way that you really truly come out on top he did come off as a uh relatively nice guy and uh far more trustworthy and a much more genuine better person than jack absolutely in my opinion but like i'm not a private investigator i don't actually know i'm not a fucking detective i don't i don't i'm not like i'm not god either i can't tell if someone's morally good matthew explained how the scam actually works on the asher show it's a legal tactic it's not actually a scam over the last few months i have been highlighting some of the worst influences on the internet as a sniper wolf for stealing content neon for his fake muggings and countless controversies but nobody has compared to the skid mark of society that is jack doherty you can subscribe to the models fans for free that's step one after they subscribe there's a dm from the supposed model usually it's an ai or like a a, a substitute teacher an assistant someone like that on the videos that we do we say that it's free you you want to go make an account you subscribe to it and then you're hit with a DM from the girl saying, hey, baby, like, da 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 So as a result of this communication from the model to the subscriber, there is a more personal parasocial connection. You guys have heard of that, I'm sure. And the clients are more inclined to give money to the model as time goes on. So it really adds up, regardless of it being free initially. It's a subscription model. It's just, it's simple. They start off by sending 10 bucks, five bucks, $20, whatever. You go down the loophole of giving your money slowly. It may be $10, maybe $20 slowly and sure but surely it gets to these crazy numbers where the first second third ish month i had jack and logan like 70 something k over 100k in a single day like supposedly jack is bringing in anywhere from 50 to 100 thousand dollars a day using his 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 pimp structure basically it is a genius plan that is common and has worked out astronomically well generally though it's not a singular idiot guy who is controlling all of this or like a team of random dudes. I've had personal experiences with some of these models and they do it themselves. They have their own business. They do actually interact with people. I'm, I'm not saying like I've subscribed to them and then I've talked to them, I believe it. I actually know the models in real life. And that being said, I do think is a completely reasonable way to live your life if you wanna, you know, 
use your body to make money, you can do that. I don't care. Yeah, this is probably why Jack is always surrounded by so many girls. He give, He's there on his payroll. He's building a brand. He's creating careers. It really is a smart thing. It's like FaZe Clan for broccoli heads. Broccoli headed pimps. Also, according to Matthew in the Asher Show interview, which he told me this in my interview as well, but <laughs> I don't have any... I don't have any audio from it. He was taking 100% of their earnings while they were instead paid salary. That was very clear. Of course, he takes 100%, he gives them salary. Wow. Finally given up some percentage, you know, after like the girls complaining after so much and, and whatnot, but it really is sad. Like, like what these girls like, you know, how they allow it. Allegedly, it took some of the girls complaining, AKA bitching and moaning for Jack to start actually uh, allowing them a percentage of the money that they are earning themselves. By the way, the haircut, I don't get the broccoli head. I don't get it, man. If you have, I could never imagine a asking this Adderall riddled broccoli headed toddler anything. And, and actually respecting him enough to make eye contact and, and, and like having to listen to a response. I just, I just can't, it's crazy, dude. Yeah, apparently though, this is super common and it's not technically pimping. To me, it does feel like pimping. Um, it does feel like pimping. What technically is pimping? Let's see. Define pimp. A man who controls prostitutes and arranges clients for them, taking part of their earnings in return. They're not prostitutes, but the rest is true. He's an OnlyFans pimp. This is very unethical, but I spoke with a lawyer and he said that that's a normal employee-employee relationship. You can operate like a manager, even though it sounds like he's more of a pimp. You know much about you. You're like a pimp. You pimp out the girls. You stream with them. Like, what's the deal? I'm, like, what? I'm not sure why this isn't considered pimping. I would like to just call it pimping because it's like sex work and a man who is not actively involved in the sex work is stealing the majority of the money. We hate pimps, right guys? We're anti-pimp, I think. This though, common tactic. We've seen it. The Tates did it many, 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 many years ago. Not with OnlyFans, but with cam girls. They were way ahead of the curve. But Andrew and Tristan would become romantically involved with these women and develop relationships with them and then basically coerce them into doing this. I don't know if Jack's doing that. Seems like he gets a lot of his girlfriends to do it, so maybe he's quite he's quite literally doing that, but I don't know. This facade allowed the Tate bros to make millions of dollars from a lot of people, and they also said that they would, they would speak to the men, so they would be saying weird shit like this to men. They would be typing that as men to other men, and they would just converse $4 a minute in some instances. That is crazy. People would just send their whole lives to them for the chance to hook up with this girl that maybe is not even real. I'm not sure. But Andrew and Tristan, they don't try to glorify this in any way. They quite literally said, it's all a big scam. What they were doing was a scam. What Jack's doing, not a scam now. Not a pimp, not a scam, but what Andrew and Tristan were doing, that was, according to them, Tristan brazenly told the Sunday Mirror, it's all a big scam, and bragged he doesn't feel any guilt because no one cares, and it's their problem, not mine. It's very close to the same thing in my opinion one is very clearly a scam and the other is not a scam the other is legal business in the country of the united states of america that shouldn't be investigated by any sort of three letter agency at all i promise you will find nothing if you look deep nothing fbi you will find nothing at all so tate obviously denies sex trafficking and all that stuff but using women specifically for content that's all true that's all fair and apparently it's also a scam they said andrew tate claims he was earning six hundred thousand dollars a month during the height of his webcam business which employed 75 women across four countries tate's super proud they came way first but jack guess what tate's went to jail they lost all their shit i don't know if they're gonna get out i'm not sure how it works but yeah you know jack keep doing what you're doing keep making it bigger the harvard business mindset keep growing get more more girls take more of their money treat them even worse manipulate them even further get more relationships and then turn those relationships coerce the quite literally coerce these women that you're in relationships with and then get them to sign contracts that are one-sided where you take 100 percent of the revenue and you pay them a pay Just keep doing that as much as you can it will end well i promise also to be fair i'm not sure how much money jack is paying the girls but if he's able to continue renting mansions and, and Lambos. That kind of stuff is very, very expensive. You own both? Yeah. How much do you pay in rent? Uh, this one's 55K a month, and that one's 25K a month. You know, the, the, the lower your equity footprint, the easier it is to embezzle money. And he allegedly embezzles money. That's not, they're not my words. That's somebody else's words, but 
allegedly. And there's also the embezzlement. He's gonna throw embezzlement yeah. at me? What, what embezzlement? Yeah, are you so basically, about? Uh, let's say I'm Jack and I'm signing this girl and I ask her, hey, can you just give me your social security number? I'm gonna take it and put it and I'm gonna create a bank account with us together. But in reality, he goes and just makes it for the girl. The mm -hmm. girl never sees the amount that's in that account. Jack's name has nothing to do with that bank account. He pays himself through her account. That, I don't know a lot about embezzlement, all right, or tax fraud or money laundering or anything like that. But it seems like if I were to do all of those things, this is so, these are some of the steps that I would take. I asked an anonymous legal thinker what he thought of these claims, if it actually is embezzlement, and what the punishment would be if it is a crime. To the first question, it's not really embezzlement. It seems like that's more likely tax fraud or money laundering, but just based on what he's said, it's unclear. To the second question, if it is a crime, again, it, it's likely tax fraud, so like a crime that could be punishable by the IRS. You know, if I were to want to be in a not good faith, a bad faith relationship with someone that I'm doing business with in the hopes that I can take money from them and, uh, you know, profit off of them grossly in bad faith because all business agreements are in good faith, by the way. That's how America works when you do business with someone. You can't just fuck them over. I'm sure banks wouldn't like to open accounts for a guy who's consistently doing bad faith business with random young girls, social security numbers and stealing all their money. If only they were to find out about this. Oh, by the way, remember that part where we were talking about girls getting drunk on a boat? Matthew says that a girl named Claire got drunk when she was not old enough to drink and signed to him. They obviously go for like the youngest ones. Crazy one that they have, Claire. She was 17 and like uh, we met her at Sway. Not even just Claire. He obviously just goes for the young girls and Claire actually signed when she was drunk on a boat and she's not allowed to drink, but. She signed to, yeah. hit to him when she was drunk on a boat. He waits to get these drunk and make them sign their life away. So that seems messed up a little bit, maybe. Sign your life away for a chance at a broccoli head toddler lifestyle. Yeah! Let's see how my head looks for broccoli head. Don't worry though, guys. He gives away Rolexes with their with their own hard-earned money. Jack Doherty bought all of his OF demons Rolexes for Christmas with the money he made, scamming them and taking 100% of their revenue. Gifting these girls a Rolex will keep them quiet, quite for another few months and not leave him. This is the craziest narcissist tactic of all time. Who the fuck is this guy with great posture back there? That's the old tuber, tuber top. Jack did address this though. Uh, he addressed this himself and he called it ridiculous. Basically, there's this rumor saying that I sign minors to OnlyFans, get them drunk on yachts, make them sign contracts, whatever. That is the most untrue false allegation I've ever heard. And I've never felt like I had to respond to it because it's just so dumb. It's just so dumb that people really like believe that type of shit and they want to believe it because they hate me and they just can't accept the fact that I'm doing well in life. That's probably not the reason why, to be clear, what he just described, the hater mentality, that's the hate, he's describing the hater mentality. It's probably the uh, 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 lack of, of integrity and the extreme just air of being disingenuine that everyone gets who has a brain when they watch you jack that's probably what it is it's not the haters it's people are not inclined to believe what you say because you're a piece of shit. show the proof people still won't believe you i'm not saying anything's true all allegations just to be clear also regardless of age this is a bad deal for all of them and if you are ever approached by someone and it's it's more than 70 30 70 going your way 30 going to a studio or whatever say no run away okay that's bad that's a bad deal deal all right this is not anything new by the way another reason why people might believe this jack is because it's happened before. There's a Vice article where a woman talks about how she was tricked into cam modeling at the age of 18. This happens. This happens. Anytime there's money being made, people are going to be manipulated. People are going to do whatever they can to make as much money as they possibly can with the least amount of fucking effort. That's how it works. That's why people think it, Jack. Because you have no integrity. And why would you be any better than any of these pieces of shit? You've given us no reasons to believe this. For the girl in the Vice article, it started as something where she thought she'd just be innocently flirting with men to keep them on her video page. And then it evolved into just full-on stuff she didn't want to be involved with. Eventually, she realized she signed herself up into being a webcam girl. Someone who streams to websites and is essentially a cam girl 
star, whatever you want to call it. This was completely unbeknownst to her. Somehow. It seems hard to believe, but it happens. People get misled and manipulated. This shit happens a lot, all right? And by the way, this is a long time ago. Back in 2007, this shit has been happening. A bird just flew right into my house. Not the window, but the house. Yeah, imagine the, the tricks and the manipulation from 2007 till now, man. It's crazy. Bad guy, bad guy, piece of shit. It just, it gets deeper. The rabbit hole continues. I wonder if he'll ever get tired of being hated. Does that, is that, do people, I, it's money? Does eventually money matter less to these people or do they just want to maximize the materialistic way that they live their life as much as possible in spite of, do they, do, are people fine with just not being respected and liked by anyone? Cause it's one thing to just have a lot of haters, but he has all haters at this point. He's a piece of shit. Call it just acting like an asshole for no reason. Pick them up. Pick them up. Come here, come on, guys. Do it for the chat. Come on, just pick up my guys and keys. Stop me. Are you an L woman? This is why I'm fucking, I have to be thinking of you, dog. Let's pick up your keys and my team's mind. L woman, L woman, L woman. L woman. And by the way, just in case you were wondering, who is he marketing this, this e-pimp scam to? It is children. He is quite literally targeting children, little boys, Children. Damn, do you guys play basketball? Yeah, fuck the island boys. It's mind boggling to think that Jack Doherty was more respectable when he was like 13 years old than he is now. And he's been posting since then, by the way. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just did the marker flip twice in a row. I got it on video. Oh yeah, by the way, he does feel like a piece of shit and he does want to be a better person and this is his statement in regards to <laughs> like i don't know that's what i just feel like i just want to give back more and feel like not a piece of shit. like i've done a lot in life and i genuinely just want to give back more and like oh, i don't know just help people and feel like i've made an impact on people's lives and not just doing things for views you know what i mean yeah man nobody cares at all nobody cares at all be honest he's right up there with neon in terms of being the most hated streamer i i find it hard to believe that anyone could sit down and watch a jack doherty clip w got gat w got rizzler yeah man go try to help people try to help people instead don't 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 stream the bait don't manipulate women into getting them to give you more money than you deserve actually make a difference actually make a difference and actually become uh actually become a good guy you will i you will always have a hater in me just for clarity but you can win some people over probably eventually he's a menace jack doherty is a fucking menace